In this chapter, we're going to go over why support and resistance levels work in technical analysis. So, first off, let's let's go through really the three main reasons why they work. First off, institutions are forced to sell or cover their shorts at break even to avoid losses. I'll explain kind of what that means in a little bit. And then institutions are selling or buying a stock based on evaluation metric or model. So let's say you have a certain stock plugged into a DCF and the um, you know risk to re reward profile looks uh, attractive when a stock is at you know let's say $400. Um, so you could see a, a support level, it would look as a support level in the chart, but it's really just a large institution buying the stock at a 10 times PE or a valuation um, that they feel comfortable with. And then the third is self-fulfilling prophecy. What I mean by that is just a lot of traders will see a support level within a chart and then all the traders kind of... Um, you know, trade off of that level, well, then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So in terms of institutions being forced to buy and sell at break-even points, so I'll, I'll kind of talk through that in, right now. So at, at this 460 support level, this green line, we can see that we keep coming down to 460 and moving higher. Let's say um, BlackRock or I'm an active firm, let's say, um, um, you know, Citadel, and I'm coming down to this 460 support level, and I, you know, th this is where I've bought the, the stock in the past, therefore, it's where I want to buy it once again, um, so if I bought at 460 in the past, that's my kind of break-even point, let's say I um, slide below that level, that would be a break of support which obviously leads to a move lower um so that's kind of a way that a, a break of support could be significant if a large asset manager sells out where they had bought in the past um that doesn't happen in this chart right here but for our example also let, let, when we're coming up to test this red line of resistance this could be a level in which um, you know a firm has Let's let's say this stock has a has a twenty times PE, and for for whatever reason, and a large institution doesn't want to own this stock, doesn't think that the stock should be trading at these high levels. Well, then they will short the stock at that resistance level, right? Um, so they could also have it plugged into a DCF and. At, the, at this level, the stock's valuation makes no sense according to their, their valuation method, right? Um, so there's a lot of reasons why support and, and resistance works, um, self-fulfilling prophecy being one of them for sure. But the underlying reason is really just that large institutions buy at their break-even points um, and they short at points in which they, they've shorted a stock in the past. Um, so in, in this example here, let's say in April, um, BlackRock wants to short the stock or let's call, let's say an, an active firm, Citadel wants to short the stock. They short the stock, it goes lower. Then they come back up to that same level that, that, that they liked adding some shorts at. Well, they're going to do the same thing that, that they did in the past. They're going to add some shorts and the stock will move lower again. So that is kind of how support and resistance works. And then like I said, let's say, um, you know, let's, let's just make it easy here. Let's say a price to book ratio is at $15. I mean, so, excuse me, a, a price to book ratio of one means that this stock is at $15. So we can see here that we're coming up to this resistance level. We came up to this re resistance level three times over the past couple months for the stock. And that's obviously pushing shares lower. Um, and you could say a, a, a stock only, or excuse me, a, the company only likes the stock at 15. So that, that green line, and that, that is because that's when the price to book ratio is at one times. So that would be a positive, right? Um, so they would buy once that valuation metric hit one, um, and that would be at $15, which would imply a larger move higher over the coming weeks. Um, you know, just just 
based on that that level acting as support in the past, right? And then self fulfilling prophecy. Um, what I mean by that is just you know traders seeing a resistance or support level in the chart and trading off of it, then that kind of becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? It's happening because it's happened in the past. And then past resistance and past support. So prior re resistance becomes new support. So we can see this happened here with this chart. So back in July and June and January, we saw this stock top out at about 560. Then once we broke through that level, we saw the stock use that same level as support so prior resistance becomes new support and vice versa so past support also becomes new resistance so um, that's why you always kind of keep these lines drawn within your chart 